It happened. Elon Musk and NASA finally reveal new light speed engine. Hi there and welcome back to our channel. We hope that you are fine and enjoying your life with happy mood. Today we will tell you about Elon Musk and NASA finally reveal new light speed engine. So sit back and relax because we are just diving into the video. Is it really possible to defy the laws of physics while constructing a light speed engine? Will a human being able to travel in space in such a vehicle? Will it make fast space travel possible? Well, it's quite possible because NASA is creating a new light speed engine without using any fuel spaces big, in fact, big enough that even if we traveled with the speed of light, we wouldn't make it to the closest star systems for a massive for years. But how can we push the limits of space travel if we simply don't have the technology? So NASA and Musk are up to creating an lightspeed engine that can accelerate to 99% the speed of light without using any fuel. So in this video, we will be answering all these questions and a lot more. NASA and Elon Musk have defied the laws of physics with their latest development. NASA is on the verge of creating a new lightspeed engine that defies physics laws. This might sound weird and something out of science fiction, but it is not. One of NASA's engineers is working on something like similar having the tendency to defy the laws of physics. What are the plans for these engineers? What will they use as fuel if it can't use a propellant? Well, humans have always dreamed of crossing all the wavering paths towards their ultimate destination, which is space ever since they realized that every star we see in the night sky is a sun just like ours, with the possibility of its own solar system, planets, and even life. Even the closest star is four light years away. To overcome all the obstacles in the way to reach space, NASA's Juno mission achieved the fastest speed a human-built spacecraft has ever traveled, that is at 74 kilometers per second. Even at this speed, reaching the closest star would require 4,000 years, Humans have the curiosity to explore whatever is in the space to travel and examine. This is the problem with human nature. It should be realized that after all, it's space and it's way too big. Even if we traveled with the fastest speed, it would take many years to reach the nearest star. Elon Musk's private spaceflight business, SpaceX was founded with the idea of making life multiplanetary. To save humanity, he decided to relocate humans to other planets like Mars, which could save humans in case of any disaster on Earth, such as a massive asteroid hit. In 2016, Musk stated that there would possibly be two paths of history to take one way to stay on Earth endlessly or to colonize other planets and become a spacefaring civilization which people would agree upon. The SpaceX founder Elon Musk expresses his desire to develop settlements on Mars. To make this dream a reality, a specific automobile is needed. But the two limiting factors are the restraints of our technology and physics laws. Another human desire is to find solutions to significant problems. NASA's engineer David Burns has been doing this in his spare time, he claims to have built an engine that would accelerate to 99% the speed of light without using any fuel. He has posted it to NASA's technical report server under the name Helical Engine. It works on paper by using how maths may change into relativistic speed, which are close to the speed of light in a vacuum but haven't been professionally reviewed. Viewing the story interests arouse comparable to seen during the early stages of EM drive, which is understandable. And yes, there have been reports that the engine defies physics laws. In order to connect things EM drive was NASA's initial step to the idea of developing a light speed engine. First, we should know what really is EM drive. EM drive is a radio frequency resonant cavity thruster concept first developed in 2001 by Roger Sawyer, a British chartered electrical engineer having 48 years of experience in space and defense industries. In this case, internal microwaves are said to generate the thrust, defying the laws of conservation of momentum and other fundamental considerations. The device has been labeled as impossible drive by the media. The working of EM drive is beyond what is known about physics. Perhaps it is working the vacuum energy of space quantum time, even though space quantum time does not allow anything to push off it. Maybe it's brand new physics as the EM drive tests have revealed. There's no official design for this device, and none of the people who claim to have invented it describe how it might work as a thruster or what components make it up. In 2016, NASA's Advanced Propulsion Physics Laboratory reported seeing a thrust from one of these tests, a finding which is yet to be confirmed. 
According to research the thrust recorded was later shown to be an error. Scientists from the Dresden University developed three papers in 2021, affirming that the push was due to external influences. The helical-shaped engine is likely to defy the laws of physics David Burns feels that his proposal is worth considering even though it faced some criticism. He says, I am comfortable with throwing it out there. I'll be the first to say it doesn't work. It was worth a shot. What exactly did he mean when he said it would work? The experiment depicts a box with a weight inside hung on a line with spring at either end, bouncing the weight back and forth to emphasize his point. This would shake the box in a vacuum with the importance of being static. However, of the weight s mass grew in only one direction, it would provide stronger push in that direction resulting in thrust. Let's see. What does physics rule say about this? So according to the laws of physics, this should not be conceivable according to the notion of momentum conservation, which asserts that the system's momentum remains constant without external forces. According to Newton's law of relativity, the objects gain mass as they approach the speed of light considered in accelerators. In actuality, the simple version of Burns notion would replace the ring with a circular particle accelerator in which ions are rapidly accelerated to relativistic speed during one stroke and de-accelerated during the other. Burns suggests the accelerator should be used for both lateral and circular motion. It's called the helical engine as it is similar to the stretched out spring, the engine accelerates ions in a circle to relativistic speeds. The engine then produces thrust by moving ions back and forth along the travel direction. Burns added other ions traveling in a vacuum line trapped inside the electric and magnetic fields. The engine has no moving parts, 1 newton of thrust and 16 megawatts of energy would be required to accelerate a kilogram of mass per second squared, which is comparable to the output of the power plant. However, such propulsion-free vehicles such as helical are not entirely new in the late 1970s, and Indian was created by an inventor Robert Cook which converted centrifugal force to linear motion. Then in early 2000s, a British inventor Roger Shawa proposed EM drive suggesting that trapped microwaves can be transformed into a thrust. Neither idea has been proven and both are believed impossible due to violation of physics law conservation of momentum. Physicists at the Technical University of Dresden, who tested the EM drive said that the helical engine would most likely suffer from the same defect. One of the physicists claims that no propulsion system could operate in an inertia-free environment. Unlike others, the machine uses relativity, but unfortunately, there's always action and reaction. However, Burns maintains that the energy lost could be captured. That's at the end of the video. Hope you like this video plus thank you for spending some time with us and please let us know in the comments section below about the video. A gentle reminder subscribe to our channel for more content just like this one, and also press the bell icon to get notified about our new uploads.